Have you noticed issues getting your prescriptions filled lately? From Chandler to Mesa to Scottsdale, many here in the Valley have had delay issues with their pharmacies. And as Team 12's Colleen Sikora shows us, this isn't just a Valley-wide problem. It's not. Across the country, I'm told it's the pressure of more tasks to do put on the same amount of staff behind the pharmacy counter that's leading to delays for patients. When you go to one place for 15 years. Our choices around here for pharmacies are kind of slim. Melissa Noakes will tell you, you get to know what's typical. We noticed it a couple months ago. And what's not. It's like a game every month. Which one are you going to get? Is it going to be filled? Is it going to be not filled? She's talking about her local pharmacy, a CVS where automatic prescription refills have been hit and miss, hours changing, and she says after a car accident she and her daughter were in. He prescribed pain meds, he prescribed muscle relaxers. I had to wait about 48 hours before I could get my prescription filled. Um, because they were just so busy. It's something National Pharmaceutical Association president and pharmacist Dr. Ryan Maribel says is being seen across the country. You're seeing longer than normal wait times, um, short medication shortages within uh, retail pharmacy. Maribel says it's more being put on staff behind the counter, not just filling your meds, but providing flu shots, COVID shots, other vaccines, testing and more. All of those different services all at once, it can really uh, create a ripple effect and, and really create a situation where things can be held up. And ultimately, that can affect the patient. CVS and Walgreens both told 12 News in statements they've had to adjust hours to meet demand in some locations, and both are hiring to fill needed positions. So Melissa says she's being as patient as she can be. I try to be as understanding as possible because I know we're all going through some tough times right now. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.